Welcome to Kulik and Sofa here at SMT Connect. I'm joined by Marco uh, van Osterhout. Nice to see you again, Marco. Hey, to ever. Yeah. Nice to be back. Okay. Um, we've got a, a new machine behind us, which is really exciting. It's called the iFlex CX. Um, tell us a little bit about the machine, what the concept is, uh, and some of its features. Yeah. Uh, no, we were very proud of having this. This is the iFlex CX, which is basically the chip shooter part of the iFlex family. Mm -hmm. So having a machine which has an IPC rating of 75,000 components per hour right. on this footprint wow. is quite, quite good and remarkable. Right. And this being topped off with an iFlex T2 and an iFlex H1 gives a very nice uh, state-of-the-art, high-quality line solution. Absolutely, yeah. So, so you built it on two H-beam uh, gantries. Uh, inside, uh, which house uh, is it? Uh, two pipette systems. How many, how many pipettes are there on each side? Yeah, so it has two, two eight gantries indeed, and mm -hmm. every side has two multi pipette uh -huh. uh, modules, which contains ten pipettes each. Okay. So you have then twenty pipettes on each side. Okay. Uh, so obviously, using pipettes is, is is a more accurate way of getting placement than using, say, a turret head or something like that. Uh, what sort of accuracy are you getting down to with the, with the pipette system? Yeah, with this system, uh, we are going down to 12 micron, mm -hmm. uh, which is a CPK 1.0 value. Okay. okay. So that's, that's, uh, that's a lot more accurate than the previous SMT machines that we had, and it comes close to our hybrid platform. Right. Okay. So uh, and so it's designed really for, for high-speed uh, flip chip placement and things like that, or, or what is it for? Yeah, actually, it's for it's for multi-purpose. It's also for the high-speed high SIPI applications, flip chips, it, it can do great on that, but mm -hmm. also because of the amount of feeder positions. Mm -hmm. There are two trolleys of 66 positions each. Right. Uh, so it gives us a lot of feeder density for this small small area. Right. So a couple of these together with, an, uh, with, an, with, with a T2 is a good SMT, general purpose SMT solution. Because mm -hmm. you can pack a lot of combined products on it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah so that makes it really quite flexible. So uh, this is actually the first one, this is the, the, the if, if you like, a working prototype in some respects. Uh, what are the plans for, for actually launching it? You're going to do some beta testing? Uh, yeah, so in, indeed. So this is a uh, the prototype. We have done some internal alpha tests on this one. Mm -hmm. we, we go for the beta test later this year. Mm -hmm. We didn't have sketched the exact month, but it can be any, anything between August and uh, uh, October, November. Right. And then going into the, the industrialization phase, the first machines out of the, the factory that will be in calendar 23. Uh, aiming at May, June. Okay, okay, excellent. So May, June next year. Yep. Um, great. Uh, are there any other specific features uh, built into it? I mean, see, it's, it's obviously built on linear motors and encoders to get the, the, the accuracy, the positional accuracy. Yep. Um, uh, are there any other features that are built in there? Yeah, so we have, we have learned a lot from our other concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, try to uh, develop new, new uh, high quality features in combination with what we already have. What this, for example, has is an active placement force control built in into the placement in the placement head. Okay, so so what what, what sort of uh, force control can you get under? Uh, uh, is this is this for for uh, components that have got uh, pin insertion and stuff like this? No, it's more like having uh, having the, the touch on the board or on the on oh, the substrate yep. as as gentle as possible and I controlled see. as possible. Okay. And also, nice thing of this one is that there's uh, serialization of those modules, so we can also trace back, do the full traceability, mm -hmm. and trace back what module has placed what component. Okay. And getting that out of the system via our K-Next mm -hmm. uh, platform mm -hmm. gives the, the smart factory flexibility and, right. uh, and connections that is, that is required. Right. Okay. And also yeah. a nice feature, because you asked for it, is mm -hmm. that is uh, for that question, is that it contains gang pick, so-called gang pick place. Mm -hmm. So the two pipette modules can place simultaneously, simultaneously. The, the the components. Excellent, excellent, great. So any plans to uh, obviously make it compliant with uh, either six gen or or, or uh, CFX? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for the CFX Hermes uh, uh, uh -huh. standardization, we are part of the of, of, of those committees, yep. so it will it will have that uh, that uh, built in. Yeah. Uh, Sexdem, the semicon standards, that's also of course needed for this one. Yep. So yes, yeah, we'll have, have, okay. have all those traceability uh, good. connections done. Good, good. Yeah, so this will make it the, the fastest flip chip placement system in the market. It will make it a very fast, high accuracy uh, component placement. Uh, placer suitable for flip chip, suitable for uh, for SIP components. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thank you for showing it to us today, Marco, and we wish you every success with the the rollout of it. And uh, I hope your your beta trials go well. Okay. Thank you, Trevor. Nice okay. talking to you. Thank you.
At Kaizen, we know it's the science that makes the difference. The right solutions happen when you care enough to ask the right questions. And we understand that your performance is directly related to ours. Science knows why it works, care knows why it's important.